Sending your kids off to school with a lunch packed at home ensures they'll get a nutritious meal that's also safe to eat. It's also a great way to teach your kids about food safety and eating healthy. So let's look at the ABCs of lunchbox safety. As with any food preparation, we're going to make sure that our hands are washed and our work surface has been sanitized. This is going to ensure that our food doesn't become cross-contaminated. Now a great option for a school lunch is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This venerable staple has been around for years and the great thing about it, it's shelf stable. We don't have to keep it refrigerated. Now lunch meat, that's a whole other story. Lunch meat that comes pre-packaged can last for four weeks in the refrigerator. Lunch meat that we buy at the deli counter needs to be used up with three to four days after purchasing. Some great choices for your lunch box include granola bars, fresh fruit, or crackers. These things don't have to be refrigerated. On the beverage side, juice pouches and shelf-stable milk are also great choices. Fruits and vegetables are another great idea for your lunch box. But just remember that once they're sliced or peeled, they're going to need to be refrigerated. Now that our lunch is made, it's time to get it packed. One of the simplest and easiest choices is the old brown paper bag. This works great, especially for shelf-stable products. The problem is if we're dealing with deli meats, it's a little bit harder to keep those cool and large gel packs don't work well with brown paper bags. One trick that you can use is to freeze a juice pouch. This will keep the contents of a brown paper bag cool for up to three hours. Some larger options or more high-tech options are things like this lunchbox that has a built-in ice pack. This will keep a sandwich cool pretty much all day. If we're going to pack a lunch that requires a lot of items to be kept cool, you're going to need a larger insulated container such as this. The use of a large gel pack in an insulated container, you can keep a lot of food cold pretty much all day. For older kids and adults who want to bring salads to school or work, here's an option for them. This setup has separate containers for the salad and all the individual items, plus a built-in cool pack for the top, and that will keep that cool. It also comes with an insulated container as well. If you're going to include hot food with your lunch, you're going to want to use a thermos. A simple trick is to preheat water in the microwave and add it to the thermos while your food is cooking. Once your food is done, pour out your water and add the food and this will ensure that the food stays warm for the whole day. Once your child comes home, we're going to want to clean out that lunch box as soon as possible. First thing you want to do is remove any perishable foods that haven't been eaten and throw those away. Also any bags or wrappers. Also, don't reuse sandwich bags. Next, we're going to want to wash down with soap and water the inside of our lunch box, our gel packs, and a sandwich tote if we've used them. That will make sure that we don't cross-contaminate the food for the next day. With just a little care, you can ensure that your child's lunches are both safe and nutritious.